All right. Time to donate some blood. There you go. Done with the blood donation. If you haven't donated for a while, I recommend making an appointment. Um, it took a little while, so give yourself plenty of time if you're going to go do it. It had been a while since I had done it. Uh, they do have a few more precautions because of COVID, so it takes a little bit longer just to disinfect everything and stuff, but it went fine. They did good with the needle stick, and they did my left arm, which my left arm's usually kind of hard to hit the vein. My right arm's better. Um, but they didn't, she did good. Sorry, all over the place. So, left arm was just fine. Anywho. Um, gonna hydrate and recover. The one thing I did learn that was new, or not new, I guess, but new to me, um, they always ask you about tattoos. And I have, I, I get tattoos kind of frequently, I would say. So, usually it's not a problem. And then they asked me what state I got my tattoo done in, and I got it done in Georgia, but apparently there are still a couple of states that do not regulate tattoos, and so Georgia's one of them. If you get a tattoo from an unregulated state, uh, you have to wait three months before donating blood. Uh, luckily it had been three months, so I was good, and I still did my donation, but just something to keep in mind. Um, it was mostly northeast states and a few others. There was like six or seven states. So if you're going to go donate blood and you've had a tattoo, just do a quick Google about state regulated tattoo shops and uh, that'll be your answer. So now that's done, I have a bag of recyclables that I need to go take to the recycling center. And uh, cause I don't have any recycle bins at my, at the hotel I'm staying in. So I rinse and dry and collect all my recyclables and I'm gonna go drop them off. A little post donation recovery with a peanut butter cookie that I got from the donation place and electrolytes. Doing good.